So good afternoon, everyone who uh, is joining us uh, either live or watching this recording. So whenever that may be for you, it's always afternoon somewhere. Uh, welcome to our March uh, USITT Leadership Listening. Uh, I'm, please, I'm David Grindle, the Executive Director at USITT, uh, and I'm joined by our President, Carolyn Satter, and our Treasurer, Kim Scott. And um, we are continuing this monthly open forum to share information and uh, receive questions and maybe even have answers to those questions in most instances. Uh, I wanted to open up by saying uh, thank you to everyone who participated in our uh, 2022 conference in Baltimore, um, especially to our exhibitors and our sponsors who um, really they are, the, the trade show is a major portion of the Institute's revenue stream every year. And uh, opening up a trade show uh, on the edge of the latest variant uh, was a frightening thing in January. I had people calling me asking if we were going to cancel and I boldly said, no, we're going forward. Um, and uh, it worked to be the, the proper decision. Uh, if you weren't able to, to be with us, I think uh, the, the other thing that was a big shift uh, that everyone has been rightly excited about were our learning labs. Uh, with 12 learning labs, we've been uh, evaluating those both from a cost benefit perspective and how can we do them in a more affordable way? And part of that affordability is how can we increase the opportunity for hands to learn? And um, it's been wonderful to have some great feedback from people uh, who've said, oh, what if we tried this? Then we might be able to bring this many more people through, which I thought was really uh, a great thing because the one thing we have all learned is that hands-on learning is hugely important. Uh, we are working uh, into the fall schedule and summer schedule uh, a little bit, and we'll soon be able to announce some more hands-on learning opportunities. Uh, these opportunities, we're going back to live learning um, while continuing uh, our online learning as well. So these things are all in the, the loop. I, I think in some respects, uh, the the Baltimore conference was the beginning of the new USITT where we're online and in person because uh, you can't get enough of us in any one form. Um, and so I'm really excited to see what's coming next uh, down the pipe uh, from folks and planning for St. Louis uh, is already in the works. Um, if you did not hear in that announcement, we will be in St. Louis in 2023. We will then be um, in Seattle in 2024, Columbus, Ohio in 2025, and then we're already in progress on cities for 2026 and 27. Uh, you can find dates for uh, St. Louis, Seattle, and Columbus uh, if you go onto the website and look at conference and click there. Uh, you'll see a uh, space to find future dates. He looks to Mark Blackman's face to nod, and I have said truth and not just made things up. Um, so that's, that's really the update of where we are. We are also in the process of building next year's budget while looking to see if we can discover how we've done on this year's budget. Uh, and so we'll share more and more of that information as it comes round. Um, Carolyn, do you have any comments before we open the floor for any questions from folks? Uh, no, first of all, welcome. Um, I love this opportunity every month to just listen to what you have to, what you're thinking, what uh, questions that might spur on actions that the board would uh, have not considered and would consider for uh, the benefit of the members. That's what I am Looking forward, um, I was not at conference due to a uh, 
medical issue, I think is the best way. Uh, I had a fall and uh, uh, split uh, the femur uh, a bit. So I am almost back, uh, almost back in. And uh, But the pictures I saw, uh, the comments I've gotten were tremendous and kudos to uh, Kudos to everyone who participated. Kudos to uh, the uh, the national office who put it all together, and commissions and other committees who provided the learning experience for all of you. So uh, it was a joyous uh, half a week to be had, and I can't wait to see all of you uh, in St. Louis. Um, so if you're not familiar with post-conference time at the, if, you, if you've been to our conference, you know how tired you are when you leave. Now imagine getting all the bills for it. Um, so that has been sort of the focal point of things here in the office um, as we work through. So th that's the sum total of things we had on our list. Um, I, questions from folks who are here. Ooh. Okay, Deb Shearer, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll ask a question. Um, uh, so we got a handy dandy post-conference survey. Um, have we gotten a lot of attention with that? Are people responding and, and filling that out? I know it's probably gonna go on for a while, but are, are people opening their emails? As much as they ever do. Um, uh, honestly, Deb, uh, up until today-ish, it looks like about 11% of attendees have uh, turned that survey back in. There's another big push on Friday and weekly news, and it'll close over the weekend so we can start really dicing those attendee figures. I'll also ask another one if no one has one. Um, uh, voter turnout for our election. We had a completely different election than we've ever had before. Do we know if we had a higher or lower percentage of voter turnout with our new system? I will take that one. Uh, percentage wise, it was about the same as what we had last year. So um, overall it was a, a good, um, amount, I believe it was at 29% of our members voted. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good for us. That's pretty yeah. good for us. <laughs> In a non-presidential vote, yeah. Did we have any hiccups? Uh, and actually, we should let, let uh, everyone know that if you don't know, Leanne is uh, one of our national office employees. She runs the office uh, <laughs> with, I think, whip in hand and a very nice velvet glove between the two of them. But uh, uh, probably this is for David also, was uh, was the system as smooth on the voting and that is, that we thought it was gonna be? That yes. Was. Did we have folks vote at conference? Did they like, did that actually happen? I'm in the room and it's happening. So I'm gonna vote right now on my phone. We did have a small percentage, ton, but we did have a small percentage come through the day of. So that was great to see. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and open up the other moment. Do you have questions about the transition that we can answer for? Uh, executive director. There is a board meeting on Monday in which uh, the board will uh, endorse the plan moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, and we will um, we Carolyn? Yes. I'm yes. saying we as though I'm going to be part of it. 
Why don't well, <laughs> I don't do anything by I, myself. I'm just the instigator. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, well, there is a board meeting on Monday at uh, one o'clock. I'm on the East, uh, West Coast, uh, four o'clock. Uh, and there will be uh, there are a few things that need board action, and that is to start the ball rolling uh, with a internal search committee uh, made up of members of the USITT and to also start launching the uh, the RFP for a search firm. So that will that will go out, send a request for proposals, uh, then the search committee will go ahead and uh, talk about, interview, evaluate, and select one search firm who will then be charged with uh, giving back to search committee a list of candidates, viable candidates, and that process. When that has all filtered through, uh, the candidate uh, that is chosen by the search committee will then present it to the board. Uh, and if all goes well, uh by the end of the year we should have a executive director in place that that is uh that is how i would hope it goes smoothly uh and i i'm ready for mr toad's wild ride on this one uh but i have a wonderful group of uh uh between Kim Scott, uh, our treasurer, Dan Culhane, past president, and uh, Paul Bruner, who is secretary, the four of us pretty well uh, take in any, any new business, anything moving forward, talk about it, and then come up with uh, a decision. Um, I am very much on transparency. I'm very much on inclusion. And it is important uh, that decisions that are made are not just mine alone. Or mine and David's until June 13th. David is very much part of this organization until June 13th. And my expectation is that he is a, he, re, he continues in his job requirements and what the board expects he does, uh, attending all meetings and leading our uh, leading the organization along with the president anything less uh is not acceptable yes ma'am end of discussion <laughs> are there other questions on this or a myriad of other topics is your last day really a monday <laughs> my last day is really a monday <laughs> All right. It's just how it fell. We're going to get everything out of him. Did you not just hear Carolyn? <laughs> you don't get to have yes. a weekend and go away. You are back no. on Monday. No. No. Yeah. 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 We'll teach you to leave the Institute. <laughs> like we're going to actually let him leave. If he doesn't get a, a, a postcard in the mail to continue his membership with USITT. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh my, now I'm a voting member again. Not a bad idea. By the way, congratulations, Trish is on this call. Trish Hausman is one of our new board members as of uh, July 1. So welcome aboard, Trish. Thank you. Are you in my old office? I sure am, it's mine now. Oh, thank God. Can't be, it has running water and a coffee maker. Um, <laughs> but when I was there my, for my birthday, the students got together and uh, put the outlines of dead bodies on the floor as though there had maybe been a killing um, or a slaughter of stage managers. It was rather amusing. It stayed there for quite some time. 
Um, it did. We did have to repaint the walls, though. Yeah, because they were on the walls, too. Well, if there are, um, if there are no other questions, I, I realize that everyone's excited. Um, the next of these would be scheduled for um, the end of April. Um, and so we will, um, it looks like at um, 3 p.m. Wednesday, April 27th. 27th. Um, and certainly, you know, if you have questions, this is not the only time that you can reach out. Um, you can always email david at usitt.org or president at usitt.org and get to either one of us. Right. Um, and um, we will certainly get uh, work to get answers. If nothing more than, hmm, we don't know, we'll have to get back to you on that. Those are the ones I like. Because <laughs> yeah. it kind of broadens my, my knowledge and that. So thank you all for um, taking a little bit of time to be with us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in April. Take care now. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs>